Now, how about the second one uh, for the um, uh, contacts? We would like to have in the second uh, table for that as well. Simply with that, uh, we can going back to the code uh, editor. Uh, what I want, what I want is actually I want something similar, uh, like the adjust. The only difference maybe I need to have a different ID because ID should be unique, and then the data bounding uh, should be the difference, and and as well as the as well as the uh, like the like the toolbar, like the header, uh, and there here might be different as well. And the column, uh, I we need to have in the column for the context column, uh, context in the context we have, uh, we have. We have the information like the name and like the, maybe let's put the name and telephone number uh, here. Okay, now let's going back to the uh, going back to the uh, uh, going back to here. And the second one is we will need to put it uh, copy this part and put it into the second item tab. So simply, I would like to uh, so we will copy this part into here and rename it uh, a few things later. Let's do that. Copy. And then you will see the error. Error is because now you have the same ID here. If you mouse over, you see you have the same ID with another one control. So that's not allowed. So now we would like to rename the ID. So this one. My item contact list. And this one we will let have in the line item uh, contact bar and contact toolbar. Okay, for this one as well, maybe you are going to change um, afterward in later one. And then the next one is I would like to define uh, some uh, some stream. One is for my um, contact uh, contact code. And the other one is contact name, and then also the for the contact uh, num uh, contact uh, phone number or something like that. So to do a short, we are going back to here. Uh, I would like to copy this to column, and then rename it. Um, I think for this one, I would have a, a contact code. This is for my contact name. Uh, contact name. This is contact table, contact name, and then this is my uh, contact form number. Yeah, contact form number. So I would like to name it as a, this is a name, and this is form number, telephone. Telephone here. And then now we are going to using this, this stream um, into the to replace the ID and then the street one. So now let's going back to the uh, designer. Uh, these are contact. So the first one, second one, now we have the second column. And then also, uh, this is the header of the uh, of the table. Now we need to change the uh, the quantum for the line as well. So here uh, we all about uh, and last but not least, we should bound the data with uh, uh, not a BP just anymore. Uh, in the header, we the table is bound with the it should bound with the object. We name it as uh, uh, we name it as a contact. Uh, contacts um, in this case. You can look at the metadata of the all data as well. So now we are going to replace uh, this one as contacts, contact persons. And then now in inside contact person, uh, first one I would like to bound with uh, with a with a name. Maybe name will be better uh, rather than the I contact code. I'll put a name and the telephone more on. That's what I'm going to do. So let's this identifier, this ID, name. Let's put the same as name, and then here we put telephone one, telephone one and name. Perfect. And then we're gonna save all. 
save it all. And then now let's refresh the application. Now, as you can see, we have the bis adjust and then adjust one street and then invite swap. Uh, maybe the title, we should change this title as well for the context. And but now we, uh, we were going to implement um, our contacts uh, for the test and also the number of the contacts I'm here. So basically, it, um, uh, it's still stick with the business adjust. All right, so let's have a look at the code for the BPR adjust and how this has been calculated and populated here. So if we look at the um, status bar, uh, adjust bar, and you can see basically the, uh, the toolbar, the toolbar title, it's bounding with this uh, this uh, field. So basically this field is not from the uh, stream properties. Uh, basically it's from the data model uh, in the view, in the controller up here. And then if we look at the, uh, let's go to the code. Let's go to the code. And then as you can see, it, uh, we, uh, for this, uh, for this uh, other JS, we have the test bound with this one. And basically, the this field has been uh, defined in the um, controller in the controller of TT controller the JS. If you open the controller the JS and on the initial in the one initial function, and you will be able to find um, you have a viewed model which is JSON model bounding with this view just for some dynamic calculation for the title instead of the static stream. So, and this one basically is first. You are using JavaScript to get the test uh, from the uh, from the uh, from here. So if you look at go back to search by this field, basically you will get the uh, JS uh, in the controller, and then you will set the uh, initial value like this, and then actually you have another function to update it. So when you when you have been updated, if you look at the X amount, if you look at the X amount uh, um, here. And when you update finish, it's bounding with a uh, uh, controller on list update finish. So that would be the inside the controller. If you scroll down, um, you can find it here. It's on list update finish. So this uh, would be do um, when the update the list has been finished. So you'll be invoke. So first you will get the items. And then you will get uh, how many total number if the total number um, e um, existing, and then you will compose the uh, coin cat the test uh, for the uh, with the count with together with the count. So basically, you are using this, and then how many of the BPFGS here. So basically, uh, we are going to do the similar things for the uh, contacts here. First of all, let's going back to the uh, let's going back to the. Uh, Going back to the, um, maybe we can using the, um, the controller here. So um, you need to make um, first. So this is the BP BP one. So we need to uh, modify this one. So the one we're going to modify is here. Uh, we would like to name. Uh, we let we like to make a difference in the name here rather than BPHS. Let's make it item contact. And then. Of course, uh, we will need we will need to we will need to create this in the controller as I as I mentioned in the initiative controller. So here and then so now we will get similar things. Um, this will be the new contacts. Um, and then the number for us, and we also need to modify the stream uh, for this one uh, for this case. So maybe we can uh, uh, for that case we will need to going back to the uh, the stream the properties. So if you going so basically this three uh, this three will be referenced uh, using by the uh, by the item bar. So the first one is without data. Uh, so simply you can uh, right click this three. And then you can paste it, and then of course you need to rename it. So for this one, we are going to rename it as a uh, item uh, contact. So this one is let's say no contacts. And then 
for the this one contact and then we will say this is contact and then for the head for the heading count contact and then we will say this is contact all right and then we're going to using this three uh, to bond it with our actual okay now we're going to using this in our controller instead of bonding with with this we need to using our own so this one is uh bonding with the contact all right again okay, then also for the for the other two uh, we will need to replace uh, what we need to replace is with the no data so the no data one is this one no contact and then the other one is the um, so the other one is be using in the controller okay now the next one is we're going to we're going to uh, we're going to uh, create instead of using the uh, original one so we're going to create a new uh, one uh, let's say uh, give it a new name new name for the function something like this okay and going back to the controller uh, we we let's have a look we don't have that function yet so we're going to refer into this one so simply uh, we're going to copy copy paste this one let's copy paste And this will be using to update uh, one contact list contact list uh, function update. Um, in this case, uh, we're giving all this the same. The only thing is we're not going to get the um, this is the ID for the BPOGS. All we're going to get is uh, this is also for the BPOGS. What we're going to get. It, we're going to get the ID for our table so ID for our table is contact list and as well as the, um, the test get a heading heading count so the heading count it's here and the heading And then set the value to this and set the value to our field so our field is the contact list item title all right so now we have the handler uh, when it's finished loading the contacts uh, on the detail viewed so you would um, set you would you would you would get the value um, and set the value to the uh, JSON model for the view in this case and now the last thing what we're going to do is we need to do the bounding we need to use this handler uh, using this handler for our table uh, for the update finish event so alright then let's save it now let's refresh the app All right now the BPOGS and then let's look at the contact now you see the contact has been changed and then the number has been changed according to the how many contact has been listed here okay so that's the end of the customization for the Fiori app this concludes part 3 customize the Fiori app with the SAP Web ID thank you for your time